Hello and welcome to the demo of Cloudian Hyperstore on VMware vSAN Data Persistence Platform. In this demo, we will show you how to run enterprise-grade S3-compatible object storage software on VMware Cloud Foundation with VMware Tanzu. Now, modern enterprise cloud applications depend on modern staple services, such as object storage, for accelerated development. Cloudian Hyperstore offers an enterprise-grade, exabyte-scalable, geo-distributed, highly secure, multi-tenant storage solution with industry-leading S3 API compatibility for your modern applications. These modern applications, like deep analytics, artificial intelligence, or machine learning, leverage the distributed and API-driven ecosystem that underpins cloud-native applications. One of the highlights of the VMware Cloudian combination is that it allows for consolidated management of VMs and containers, allowing traditional and modern applications to easily coexist. For the demo portion, let's move to the VMware vSphere console. The first step is to enable the Cloudian Hyperstore plugin under Supervisor Services. Once the plugin is enabled, you'll see the Hyperstore operator deployed. The next step is to create the namespace for the cluster. For the purpose of this demo, we're going to create a namespace called DevOps to run our DevOps workload. Now, namespaces allow an administrator to isolate and assign resources to a set of users or groups. After the namespace is created, we need to assign access permissions and associate the storage policy for the cluster. We are now ready to create a Cloudian Hyperstore instance. As you can see, two instances are already running, one for backup workloads and the other for Splunk workloads. We're going to create a third Hyperstore instance for our DevOps workload. In this wizard, you can enter the details of the new instance. Enter the instance name, pick the namespace, as well as the amount of CPU and memory required and the number of nodes that you're going to deploy in the cluster. The storage class for metadata is already selected, and you can pick the storage class for object metadata from the drop-down menu. Optionally, you can change the default total object storage and the volume size. Once the details are submitted and the instance is successfully deployed, you'll notice the health status turns from red to green. Additionally, you can track the health of the instances using Skyline Health. For more details about the Hyperstore cluster, you can log into the Cloudian Management Console and access the dashboard. You'll find the CMC IP address associated to the external IP of the load balancer that's deployed with your Hyperstore instance. Here, you can monitor the capacity utilization trend, the latency for get and put transactions, as well as system stats, such as number of users, groups, and objects stored on the cluster. The additional details are available under the relevant tabs at the top. To demonstrate how client applications would use the Hyperstore cluster, I moved over to another namespace and cluster. Now, I've already created a load balancer service called S3LB to expose the external IP address of the load balancer to the outside network. I've also deployed a demo application called Photo Demo. Photo Demo is a web server that connects to an S3 bucket and displays whatever photos are inside. Using the Cloudian Management Console, I've pre-created a bucket called Photos for this demo. As you can see, there are currently no photos available to display because none exist in the associated Hyperstore bucket. I can choose a photo to upload, and we can see it's displayed in the photo gallery. I can move over to the Cloudian Management Console where I see the bucket name Photos, and when I look inside the bucket, I can see that one file already exists. Now, I'm going to use the built-in interface to upload another photo and then switch back to the photo demo application. As you can see, I now have two photos. Now, I can use another third-party application to upload more files. In this case, the application is called S3 Browser. And, well, just like its name, it's an S3 browser that I'm going to use to place additional photos in the bucket.
Once that is done, I can update the photo demo application and behold, here are all my photos. Quickly checking the Cloudian Management Console, I can see all the photos I uploaded exist in the bucket. This brings us to the end of the demo. With this joint solution from Cloudian and VMware, you can not only run modern stateful services with lower total cost of ownership, but also achieve simplified operations and management in your data centers. To learn more, please visit cloudian.com/vmware and thanks for watching.